Hello all, welcome back to Semi Permadeath, Series Lee's here. We're up on the space station. It happens to be a Viking space station, so we can talk to the Viking cartographer right where we already were. Just had to fly up to the station. So let's see what he has to say. He's going to tell us to go find a relic, so we'll go do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't probe the Viking lore until we prove that we're willing to probe the Viking lore. But I, that's why I'm here asking you, Viking guy. Fine, fine. We'll go get your ancient tablet thing. Prove my honor collecting an artifact. Yeah. Alright, if you say so. Back to the acrid planet again. At least it's not too far away. That, that's not 48 seconds away across the star system. That's fine by me, I suppose. So we are looking for some sort of rune here. And there's one right there above our approximate location, so let's zoom into that. Bonk. And we definitely don't need words, but we're going to keep learning words when they're right in front of our face like that. How can we not? Oh, look, another one right there in front of our face. Oh, I thought we needed to talk to the ball. It's not the ball, it's the thing in the middle. Oh, hey, we've got two balls on this platform. Neat. Never seen that before. Uh, speaking our Viking here. I guess we did need some Viking words. <laughs> there we go. Viking tablet earned. Oh, and some Sentinel aggression too, huh? fighting you guys off, so let's get out of here. Nice and simple. We're probably going to go get the Corvax guy done today, too. The Gek one, I don't know. He usually takes forever. We're going to have to do two Gek missions. Ugh. Ugh. So tedious. I already don't want to do it. Check our warp fuel, actually. 70% uh, and it uses 10% with each jump, I think. Or less. Less than that now. 5% maybe? We'll see. First, we gotta click through the Viking lore here. Hello. And we need to ask about 16, I think, as well, right? Yeah, there we go. We get kicked out. Next, we need a Corvax cartographer. For that Patterns in Time mission. Alright, Corvax is probably going to go tell us to talk to Polo. Not at Polo. As soon as we get out here. Yeah, reveal uh, revelations with Nada. You know what we're not going to do is that. <laughs> oh, hey, we have been to Udandi before, so let's not waste warp fuel. And we'll just take the uh, teleporter there. We could have just checked the teleporter list, but oftentimes you got to warp anyway. 
when you see a round ring around a system that you need to go to, it means you have been there before. It does not mean you've been to the space station there, so you might not have it in your teleporter list. Uh, but I don't foresee me having been to a system that I didn't visit the space station in. Not on this save. So it's you dandy or something like that. Might even have an icon on it. Yeah, look at that. Corvax, cartographer, you dandy. Don't know that we've been to a Gek system yet at all. Maybe. Possibly. We'll find out in a little bit. We're gonna have to go underwater for this guy. Same deal though, we just gotta go talk to an ancient rune, basically. Uh, this one is actually not gonna be an ancient rune, it's gonna be an underwater facility with a terminal inside. Probably an eyeball monster out. Oh, right, right, gotta talk to him first, then get sent on our little side quest mission. to find a divergence cube. So for how many aliens we've met? I don't know. Let's skip it. Fragmented memory. Looks like it's on this ice planet, probably in the water. Now the issue with this mission here is that we need to have a local uh, nearby island that we can land on. Oh, that looks good. That's convenient. There's something right near our target marker. Perfect. So we'll land on the shore right there see which way it's sending us. Probably out into the middle of this ocean here. Yeah. 300 units straight in that direction. Cool beans. Yeah, there's our building right there. Let's switch to our bolt caster. Reload. We're gonna have an eyeball to take out here. Might be able to sneak by him, but I, I doubt it. Are we hitting him or not? There we go, we got him. We are out of oxygen, too. Let's go back upstairs. Yeah, I know. We're taking damage. Let me up. Are we going to die? We died. <laughs> well, that is the end of season five of semi permadeath <laughs> uh, That's disappointing. That's disappointing. Hardcore is hardcore. I didn't take it serious. That's funny for me, I guess. Oh well. Oh well. <sighs> we didn't make it. We're we're so close to the end. <laughs> Got cocky. We got cocky. Uh, oh, well. That's the end of season five. Uh, I don't enjoy. Let's, let's do an outro here. I don't enjoy Hardcore Permadeath. <laughs> uh, it, it wasn't hard. Obviously, we got that far. We got that far very easily, right? Um, but the hard part is paying attention to what you're doing. Not bringing oxygen. You know, we didn't bring anything we could do. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was on me. We're just trying to rush through. Uh, but it's tedious and slow, and it makes you go tedious and slow, and it's not super fun for me to go tedious and slow. 
Uh, so it's not that it's too hard. It's too hard to go slow. <laughs> uh, I don't want to go slow. So we're probably not doing hardcore again. But maybe we'll do another season of semi-permanent. It doesn't get us anywhere. That's another big detraction for me really caring. You know, I, normally I'd be like, oh, no, we wasted all that time and we all, almost got to Galaxy 150. Nope. No, we got nowhere. We would have got to Isentam. Uh, it's not too big of a deal that we failed uh, because, you know, it doesn't get us anywhere. And that means I don't really want to do it again. <laughs> I've got plenty of saves with access to plenty of galaxies. Um, if we can't use this to warp us somewhere new and get all of my saves to that new place, there's not much of a reason for me to want to do this except for the challenge. And playing on normal permadeath, I, this is not going to be difficult at all, so we'll see. This might be the final, final episode of Semi-Permadeath. I have to find a new series to start, maybe just a new normal mode save, a new survival save. Again, the problem with survival is it's, it's more tedious than normal mode, and it's all part of normal mode anyway. If I build a base in survival mode, that's in normal mode for everyone. Uh, these days. So it's not separated like it used to be. It's not distinct. Uh, so I guess permadeath is the only distinct one. We could make a new save, but I've got a new permadeath save. Season 4 of semi-permadeath I have kept. So if we want to join in new permadeath adventures and finish a new save, we could get into that one. And, and we won't die in that because we're not rushing through and it's not on hardcore mode. But I guess that's it. An early end to the episode and an early end to the season and a final end to the series, unfortunately, I think. Uh, maybe things will change in the future. Maybe we'll have easier access to the galaxies once again at some point or we can get our saves there in single player like we used to be able to. But until that time, that'll be it for today. Uh, yeah, sad, sad note to end it on, a death. The first recorded death i've died once before twice before now in permadeath uh but yeah sad end to the series but that's it that's it for today everyone till next time have a good time <laughs>